our next installment of Alumni in Your Community. This month, we take a look at a local man who has used BCC to become a police chief in one of our local communities. My name is George Arruda. I'm the police chief for the town of Swansea, and I am a class of 1986 at Bristol Community College. When I was growing up in the town of Swansea, my father was a policeman in the town of Swansea. And as I got older, I got interested in law enforcement after meeting a lot of the uh, professionals that he worked with. After graduating from uh, high school, uh, I applied for the criminal justice program at BCC and uh, I went to BCC. Being young, I went to uh, Bristol Community College when I was 18 years old. Um, if I had, uh, if there's anything I thought, I thought it was going to be a little easier coming from high school and going to Bristol Community College. What I found out is the teachers were very demanding. Um, you had to do a lot of independent work yourself. Um, but on top of it, the professors that I had, if they saw that you had the passion to learn, they were there and they would facilitate it. And uh, I have to say, I've been to three different uh, colleges. My experiences at uh, Bristol were by far the best. After Bristol Community College, uh, and for me to develop and evolve as a police professional, I made a determination that I had to go back to school. So subsequently, I went back to school. Uh, I applied and attended Roger Williams University. Uh, I obtained a bachelor's degree from there. And after that, I went for a master's degree uh, in uh, administration of justice and uh, received a master's at Anna Maria College out of Paxton, Mass. I would not be the chief of police if I didn't have the foundation that Bristol Community College gave me. That is the education that started me in my, uh, my years when I went for a four-year degree and when I went for my master's degree. I would not be where I am um, because professional police chiefs nowadays, you, you, have to have, uh, you have to have a minimum of a master's degree. In May of 1982, I became a, a full-time police officer for the town of Tiverton. I started as a patrolman. I was a patrolman till 1987, February of 87. I got promoted to a detective inspector. And in February of 1983, I went through the promotional process and I became a lieutenant, um, second in charge of the police department. Um, and then in July of 1996, uh, my chief reti retired and um, the town administrator asked me to be the acting chief. So I was the acting chief. They went through a search and subsequently I was appointed in February of uh, 1997 to be the chief of police for the town of Tiverton. The end of 2002, I, I saw um, that Swansea was uh, doing a search for a police chief. They needed a police chief. Uh, I submitted a uh, resume, went through an interview process uh, and subsequently was appointed uh, the police chief. Uh, and my first day in Swansea was April Fool's Day of 2003. Uh, at that time, uh, the town was going through a major uh, financial crisis. The police department had uh, been cut uh, 350000 almost $350,000. Uh, so it was, it was a difficult time here. Approximately five years ago, um, I approached uh, Ray LaVirtue, who was a dean, spoke with him and met with him and told him that I had... Uh, I was very interested in going back and um, see if I could mentor, teach, guide, assist uh, uh, young people who may want to get into, into this profession. Um, he asked me to submit a, a resume and subsequently uh, hired me to teach uh, Introduction to Criminal Law in the fall and in the winter I teach a class uh, Law Enforcement Management. Part of my job not only as a police chief and an adjunct professor at uh, Bristol Community College uh, is to help mold, educate, mentor, uh, bring forth a lot of my professional experiences, not only um, um, what I've learned being on the other side and listening to people, but also to, to be straight with them and, and so that they have uh, a realism uh, what is out there in this world and what this profession is expecting uh, from them um, and what the public uh, expects. We're public servants. We only derive our power and authority from the people uh, that we represent and that we serve. Um, and, and also, uh, a lot of our profession is not such as uh, you see 
uh, on TV. Uh, sometimes this can be a very difficult, difficult profession. You can be, and you can feel alone sometimes. It's been one of the highlights of my career to come back uh, and work in this community and give back to a community because who, who I am as a person, there are a lot of school teachers, uh, coaches, citizens that help build me as a human being and it's great to come back and serve um, and, and to do a professional job um, as, a, as a police chief. Every day uh, we learn new things in this profession. Um, every day you have the uh, opportunities um, to help people, whether you're helping someone uh, as, uh, who's having difficulties personally or helping somebody by keeping them safe, uh, arresting somebody who may be victimizing them. Um, it's a, this is a great, great profession.